Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video and I'm gonna be showing you a New Year's Eve look that I would do if we were not in a pandemic. Something that I would wanna wear if me and my sister would be able to go out and stuff and not actually have to stay in the house. So I'm going to basically show you all that to cut the time. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. So yes, they're looking really nice. And then I put like a little bit of foundation on as a base. Um, for my lids for them to adhere to the color but i am gonna go in with some concealer kind of like key as a base and then we're gonna get started with this look so from this point on i am gonna time lapse it and i am going to put all the products i use in the description box so that you'll know what i'm using and what palettes I'm using so you'll be able to follow along as well as the colors and I'll put like first second last like I'll put details and stuff of which one I'm doing first but I'm gonna go ahead and put this base on my lid because we all about that base no trouble <laughs> okay let me go ahead and get started and I'll see y'all in a bit let's go ahead
All right, you all, if it seems like the quality may have changed, I had to um, switch out my, the phone I was filming from and film from the other phone. So I had did my complexion off camera. Um, let me just fix this up a little bit. I had done my complexion off camera. I mixed the Derma Blend Golden Bronze and the Concealer Fawn um, to get a somewhat perfect shade. It looks, I match in person, but I know on camera it could look totally different due to lighting and all that stuff. But um, in person, I match perfectly. On camera, it may be saying something different, <laughs> but I promise I'm not looking like a ghost face killer, okay? Literally, my chest and neck match right the way I'm looking at it, but I'm not sure how it's portraying on camera. So, if you watch this video and be like, oh, this girl does not know how to match herself, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the perfect lighting um, to where it looks good so off camera um like i said i did my complexion part where i put on my foundation and i kind of already started contouring with the elf sculpting face brush and the juvia's place um zulu palette and i'm kind of just making my face look defined so i already defined this side as you can see, now I'm gonna go ahead and define the other side. So I'm just going in with that dark brown color right there and just um, looking kind of straight ahead and then kind of just doing my thing. Chisel in my cheek, so like that. I found that when I chisel my cheek while it's still kind of sticky, the product blends so much better and yeah, it looks more defined. I don't know what it was, I don't know how I made the discovery, but I was like, oh snap, it looks really good. And then bronzing up my forehead, so just like in the shape of a three, in a sense, shape of a three, and then it's down there. So, it's gonna look harsh, but trust me, I'm gonna blend it out right now. So, you know, I gotta kind of chisel my face because you know that quarantine thick. <laughs> Have your girl looking quarantine thick, so I gotta look like I'm nice and chiseled oh that's a really pretty complexion i wish on camera my complexion is shown as nice as it does in person because in person y'all everything look really good in person <laughs> i don't know about on camera but on per in person i look i look good so I'm gonna give this little airspun a try again. Y'all know I hate this powder, but I wanna give it another try um, just because I like to do that. I like to revisit products in my collection, in my makeup collection to see, okay, maybe it'll be nice this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with the airspun powder. And so far, it doesn't seem too bad. Cause I know the first time I did not like this product when I used it. And I know, I y'all know I'm known to do that, to revisit a product that I hated and go back and give it a chance. And honestly, right now, this airspun powder is looking beautiful. It is looking beautiful under my eyes right now. And I never thought I'd say that because of how much I really hated it when I first tried it. 
but it is looking really beautiful. The way it is like defining, oh my goodness. Like y'all, I pray that this, how beautiful my complexion looks. I pray that y'all can see it on camera. Like I really do. I pray that it is reflecting the way I see it. Cause I look good. wing liner because y'all know I suck at that um but <laughs> as far as everything else a bee look good just saying set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay. And I want to look a little dewy, so I'm going to hijack my sister's spray. Don't tell her. She's going to probably watch this video anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hijacked it for this. And then... We gonna fan our faces. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead, apply my lashes off camera, put the outfit on that I'd wear for New Year's. Um, and yeah, then I'll show you all the completed look. I'll be back in a minute. All right, you all, this is the final look. Here is the look, the makeup look. And now I'm gonna show you um, the outfit that me personally, I will wear for New Year's. It is a little Uchi, but um, it's cute. Like you gotta look cute if you're going out, especially if you're going out to dinner, going out to the club, you want your outfit to look really nice. So I'm gonna just step back from the camera. So here's the front view of it. So I, I am holding my stomach here, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so here's the front view of this outfit and here is the back view. It looks really nice. It's like this nude little outfit. Yes, I'm trying to hide my little Chi Chi fat, but it's okay. <laughs> We are going to be confident, okay? That's what we're gonna do. But yeah, this is what this outfit looks like. Has a little slit on the side. As you all can see, the little slit. Yes, and it has a nice little detailed zipper in the back. Um, obviously, I wouldn't wear these underwear with this because I know this is not what I wear. <laughs> But I obviously hear the little detailed zipper. I was inspired kind of by the colors of the zipper. It's kind of like a silverish gold and stuff. So yeah, 
Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the new year. And if you stay to the end, leave champagne emojis. Yes, popping bottles. No, I'm not gonna be popping bottles, but just leave them down below. It's tradition for New Year's Eve. So yeah, happy new year. See you all next year. And yeah, let's continue with the Sunshine Squad and rocking out. Toodles.